What if humanity's greatest threat is a source of a trillion dollar industry? Sounds like science fiction, right? No, this could happen in the very near future. See, there are millions of asteroids which are flowing through the void of space. There are some asteroids which are like city killers which when hit the earth can cause devastating consequences. So on the other hand, there are some asteroids which are not in the path of the earth, but they have resources so precious that they can be harvested because these resources are fast running out on earth. This new technology is not some tractor beam or laser technology. This involves giant inflatable bags. The whole mechanism is to try to take this giant inflatable bag, go where the asteroid is, pick it up, and harvest the resources there. This sounds like science fiction, but this is what scientists are exactly doing. In the same process, they are also planning to use these giant inflatable bags to save the Earth when asteroids are heading towards the Earth to hit it. Hi guys, in today's video, let's check what these giant inflatable bags are going to do. See, for most of our lives, we are unaware of these cosmic shooting gallery of asteroids. But you have to understand that these asteroids have reshaped our evolution. Millions of years ago, there was a 10 kilometer long crater created by an asteroid which hit the Earth in the Yucatan Peninsula, which caused the extinction of dinosaurs and about 75% of all the species on Earth which eventually paved the way for evolution. Very recently, in December 2013, in the Chelyabinsk area, an asteroid which was just 10 meters wide, traveling at 64,000 kilometers per hour, disintegrated 14 miles above the land. But this explosion had a lot of implications. Around 7,200 glass doors were shattered, injuring around 1,600 people. That is when everyone realized that these asteroids have to be made sure that they don't hit the Earth. And there were certain missions which were going on. Recently, NASA launched a DART mission. What this DART mission did was, it launched a satellite such that it will go and give a gentle nudge to these asteroids such that they will make sure that they don't come and hit the Earth. There is also another mission which is in process where they are planning to nuke an asteroid which has a non-zero chance of hitting the moon. So for now, the primary aim was to make sure that these asteroids should not come and hit the Earth in such a way that we save humanity. But in the process, scientists realized one thing. These asteroids are rich in resources. There are some asteroids which have a lot of iron, nickel and cobalt in them. And some say that the M type of asteroid, which has a lot of iron in it, can serve the entire world's iron need for a year. Also, they say that some asteroids are rich in this platinum compounds, that is platinum, iridium, rhodium, which are very important for the electronic industry. The entire database of asteroids shows that about 700 quintillion dollars worth of resources are there. Now comes the question, how are we going to harness it? There have been a lot of theories in it and finally scientists have arrived at one thing. They are planning to take an uh, inflatable back to space, take this asteroid from the path where it is going and they are going to harness the resources from it. And also one more important thing this asteroid possesses is the water which is present in the asteroid in the form of ice. What this ice contains? This ice contains hydrogen and oxygen which are very important for rocket fuel propellant. See, today, the most important limiting factor in preventing us from traveling to different planets is the fact that we have to carry a lot of fuel. But what if we can go to a place, refuel ourselves, such that the fuel is produced there only, and from there we can go to another planet? This will become a reality if this inflatable bag goes and captures the asteroid and they take the water from it, harness the energy there and they put it into this rocket. Let's see how this works. See, to capture an asteroid which is traveling at about 100,000 kilometers per hour, that too in the harsh environment of space, we'll be thinking that scientists are going to use some complex technology. But this California-based company, which is known as the Trans Astra, has brought up a simple solution for it. And the solution is to use giant inflatable bags. So basically what they are going to do is they are going to launch a rocket. This rocket will go to the place where the asteroid is orbiting. And once it goes there, it will deploy a giant inflatable bag. 
This giant inflatable bag is not made of some cheap material, but it is made up of Kevlar. This Kevlar is designed to resist the harsh environment of space. They have tested this in October 2025 in the International Space Station in the Bishop's Airlock. So they used the one meter long, this Kevlar material inflatable bag and they found out that it was successful. Now they are planning to do a 10 meter big inflatable bag. See whether it is going to be 1 meter or 10 meters, this inflatable bag will be designed to capture what it has to capture, be it a coffee mug or an asteroid. So this is the basic technology how they are planning to do this. See using a robotic arm as a big problem. If you want to design a robotic arm, what is going to happen? You have to launch a satellite with this robotic arm. And this robotic arm should go and capture the asteroid, but this asteroid will be very big. And the robotic arm should also be big. And this arm should be specifically designed for that particular asteroid. But when you are using an inflatable bag, the inflatable bag, whether it's a coffee mug or a giant asteroid, if it is big enough, it is going to capture the asteroid. This is how simple this technology is. So let's see how this process works. The first thing they have to do is detect this asteroid. So for detecting, they have something which is known as the Sutter Telescope System. This Sutter is named after the first mill in California after which the California Gold Rush started. So once they detect this asteroid, they will send a rocket to that place with an inflatable bag. This inflatable bag will inflate and it will capture the asteroid. The third process is to move it. For this, they have something which is known as the worker bee tug system, which uses a omnivore thermal system. This omnivore thermal solar powered system, what it does is, it harnesses energy from the asteroid itself. See, we discussed before, this asteroid has water in the form of ice. Ice has hydrogen and oxygen. They will use their technology to harness fuel as a rocket propellant from this hydrogen and oxygen and use this fuel only to tuck this asteroid and take it to a suitable orbit. Once they reach an orbit, the next thing they are going to do is redirect the sunlight to this asteroid such that they can break the water such that the ice melts and also they can break the necessary minerals and then they can process it. See, this entire process is going to happen in space only and it is very hypothetical. But this entire process is going to be in four phases. One is detect, second is capture, third is move, and fourth is going to be processing. See, we are hypothetically talking about a giant inflatable bag which is going to go and capture an asteroid and we are going to get money out of it. But where is the money going to come for this rocket to actually launch and for this technology to develop. For that also they have an idea. See for over 60 years we have been launching satellites into space and whenever we launch what is the problem? We leave debris in the Earth's orbit and now a European Space Agency is saying that there is over a million pieces of space debris more than one centimeter. See, one centimeter is this much only, but the main problem in that is these debris are traveling at a speed of about 28,000 kilometers. So when they can go and just hit a satellite, they are going to destroy it. And also we are heading towards something which is known as the Kessler syndrome. What this Kessler syndrome is, when two debris collide, they will create more debris the number of debris is going to increase like this many debris will collide with each other create more debris in such a way that the entire orbit is going to become unstable see this will become a disaster because today gps navigation as well as weather forecasting everything is dependent on the satellites which are orbiting around the earth if these debris go and hit those satellites it's going to be a problem so the way they are going to make money for this mission is first use these inflatable bags to collect these space debris. So what they are planning to do is launch rockets into space in such a way that these inflatable bags will deploy, collect these debris and either recycle them in an in-orbit station which is there only or push this inflatable bag in such a way that it will be fired and it will get destroyed by itself by the re-entry into the Earth's atmosphere. This is their plan. So their initial plan is going to make money to make sure that they can go for their ultimate goal of harnessing the asteroid. And the first process is to clear the space highway in such a way that they can launch freely. 
see when we started this video we just thought this is an hypothetical situation but at the end we realized that this is more of a reality than it being just an hypothesis so the plan of taking an inflatable bag capturing an asteroid and harnessing all the minerals from it is very near and to get money for it they are planning to make sure that all the debris in the earth's orbit are removed and from the money they get from this they are going to go for their ultimate goal do like share and subscribe me for more interesting